Did you know that the United States government has technology that can make it seem as if God is talking directly to you from within your own head? People can't tell where the voices are coming from because they can't triangulate them since they're demodulated inside the inner ear. The technology is called the microwave auditory effect or the voice of God weapon in slang. And I'll show you the actual patent that was awarded to our trusty Department of Defense. Here's a 1999 article titled, When Seeing and Hearing Isn't Believing, from the Washington Post, which uncovered that the Department of Defense had actually planned and proposed using this technology during the first Gulf War, hoping to encourage the Iraqi people to rise up and overthrow Saddam by tricking them into thinking that God was speaking to them. This plan was to be used in conjunction with the Project Blue Beam holographic system to make God visually appear to the people as well. The technology was also proposed to be used in Cuba, hoping to encourage the Cubans to rise up and overthrow Fidel Castro. And many people believe that this technology actually was used during the uh, second Gulf War when many soldiers just decided to lay down their arms and surrender to the government, to the Americans. Oh, you're saying that this is just theoretical. Oh, you're saying that nobody actually built this. It's just all on paper, right? Wrong. Here is an article in an advertising magazine, very popular trade magazine, Advertising Age, which shows that the A&E television network actually built the device as a promotional tool for their television show, Paranormal State. They placed it on top of a building right above a billboard, and it would then whisper to people who walked by, Who's there? Who's there? It's not your imagination. <laughs> Just imagine. And it was also using an audio spotlight technology so that if somebody was walking in a group or with somebody else, uh, if the other person that they were with was outside of the targeted small little area on the sidewalk, they wouldn't hear it. That's right. And this is old. This is back in 2007. By the way, here is the United States patent awarded in 1996 to who? Oh, the Air Force. That's right. The United States of America has a patent on, quote, the method and device for implementing the radio frequency hearing effect. Patent number 6,470,214. Yeah. <laughs> right. There you have it. Uh, by the way, Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, sort of the number two man in Al-Qaeda after uh, Osama bin Elvis sort of just disappeared from the scene, and uh, they had to just perpetuate, pl place a new, uh, you know, face of fear. He was captured, and he was in prison, and this is the guy that was waterboarded, like, just, you know, ten times a day for just months and months and months. Uh, he changed his mind and started to talk with uh, Americans, not after being tortured, but after... God supposedly appeared to him uh, and started talking to him when he was in his jail cell. Oh, I bet that the government didn't use the microwave auditory effect to trick Khalid Sheikh Mohammed into thinking that they were that God was talking to him. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, Khalid Sheikh, uh, it's, this is Allah here. I want you to start cooperating with your American captors. It's you, you've you've held out long enough. Just go ahead and tell them everything that you know. Uh, it's be a be a trusty soldier for. For Allah there, Khalid. So you can imagine, I mean, even, even people who may be familiar with the, the capabilities of modern technology, most people would have no idea that this kind of technology exists. And again, I, I have to emphasize that since it demodulates in the inner ear, you can't tell where it's coming from. So it's not like when your cell phone rings, your ears help you triangulate the approximate position and distance of where the sound is coming from. No, this demodulates inside the ear, and that's why it's called the Voice of God weapon. Here's a 2007 article in Wired magazine where the author expressed doubts that such a thing even existed, seeming to be such an Orwellian, creepy sci-fi fantasy. But at the end of the article, they did admit, well, 
the, uh, the government doesn't like to talk about it. And uh, does it exist? I'm not sure. But it's, uh, it's funny that when you hear what, what you hear brought up at a defense conference, no one ever else asks the obvious question. Does anyone else think that this will actually be convincing people God is speaking to them? I'm thinking not. Oh, she thinks not. Really? She thinks not. Well, maybe if you know about the technology, then you would probably uh, understand that that's what's happening. But most of the general public are too busy watching men chase balls on a field in a stadium, the modern-day bread and circus, to really understand what it is that's going on. And this technology may very well be used by the Illuminati Messiah, the counterfeit Christ, the Antichrist, as he is commonly referred to, to trick people into thinking that he has supernatural abilities. So there you have it. I mean, it's not just theoretical. The A&E television network had one of these things built by an advertising agency. <laughs> you could probably buy one on Amazon.com. Uh, so there you go. The voice of God weapon giving a new meaning to uh, wearing a tinfoil hat. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new. Check out some of the previous videos in the playlist. Get yourself up to speed with all the Orwellian weapons by getting my book, Big Brother, The Orwellian Nightmare Come True. Not available in stores, but it is on Amazon.com and paperback or download it right now onto any e-reading device. And stay tuned because there's more videos coming soon.